What's up, people, man? This is your friend Bobby G. I'm fresh out of a, a joint. The flea market, man. I'm feeling like God right now, man. I'm feeling like the great sunshine in my face. Beautiful weather. So, old friends, all races and creeds of people living in harmony with each other, conversing, conversating, depending on what race you were, man. We had a good old time, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I got some great deals, man. I got some great deals, man. It was like life as it should be, man. I hope you can feel that feeling too, as soon as humanly possible. If you're feeling it already, it goes on hype, man. So listen, man, I got a deal on this deal today, man. I got a guitar for 15 bucks, man. A classical job, man. Oh, $15. This, this is particular instance, this guy said, essentially, you know what I mean? I'm selling the case. You give the guitar for free. And I was like, hey, why don't you, you know what I mean, keep the case and I'll take the guitar from five, you know what I mean? Who wouldn't do it, man? So let's take a look at this. this guitar. I actually looked it up online, man. And it's a pretty prestigious guitar, man. This looks like one of their first models that they ever did, man. So we're going to learn a little bit about it. We're going to look at it. We're going to, you know, repair it. And it's all fucked up, man. I'm going to teach you about the Bobby G patented Duncan Hines technique, man. Duncan Hines, man, where you get that shit corrected, man. There's some problems with it. So let's talk about it, man. I'm fresh out the flea market. I'm loving life, man. Let's take a look at this. I'll put it on, on the slab for you all. This is what a $15 guitar case looks like from the swap meet, man. This is what a free guitar thrown in looks like. Now, I saw the wood right away because it was open case, man. Open casket. And I was like, that's not just regular old shit wood, man. It looked old. And I looked right to the label, of course, you know what I mean? Always look to the label, man. And I saw, look at that. That's a Spanish guitar made in Spain, man. And it's an artisanal Spanish guitar, you know what I mean? Case looks like, you know what I mean? Mid 60s. Guitar looks about mid 60s, you know what I'm saying? Guitar label looks about mid 60s. I'll take that guitar for you, you know what I mean? 15 bucks case, you know, even though I didn't really, you know what I mean, need another guitar case. So I got it all, you know, back to the old. Sugar Shack here, and I looked down the internet, man. Take a look at this, man. These particular guitars are nothing to be laughed at, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty valuable stuff. Look at these prices, man. Focus in, phone. Focus. You're so unfocused. Look at that, man. Are these Alhambra guitars is what it's called, man. You know what I'm saying? It makes it pretty, you know what I mean, penny on some of these guitars. And I see the website. Says day 1965. So this is for, from 1965 was the first first year. I'm not saying this is exactly 65, but that looks around about. So it was an early one. You know what I mean the company's still in business. Their guitars are still selling. I mean website's not opening. But here it is, man. And they look, they're looking for the gringo trade, man. Look, they got some white chicks in there. Come on, señoritas, toque de guitar, toque. Crafted in Spain, so it's still look. They're gonna help you, man. With the COVID nineteen, they're still helping people, my man. We give you a guitar if you die in Spain. Anyway, so the company is very, very much alive. You know what I mean? The guitars are, are very valuable. You know, so this is a ground floor guitar, but it's fucked up, man. It's totally fucked up. It's got some, you know what I mean? Issues off the bat. I mean, one of the you know little buttons has been broken off. I mean, that's not a big deal in itself. You know what I mean? It's got some serious cracks over here, the binding. Oops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that old guitar. See how it's lifted there? You know what I mean? But it, we could glue this thing back together. You know what I'm saying? We can get this thing. You know what I'm saying? It looks a lot worse in person than it does in the camera. The camera looks no big deal. We can clamp this guy down, fix it. You know what I mean? See there's a little lift there. See that? But the worst of the lot, man, the thing that is like, ah, the most is the action man look at this action man the action literally off the chart man it's literally literally off the chart look at that man way up there man way up there man embarrassing action so this is like neck reset kind of thing but look i i didn't spend a cent on this guitar man for a 15 dollar case you know what i mean i'm not gonna go you know what i mean trying to do something that's like you know what i mean gonna be so so i'm gonna do something that's gonna be definitely so so yeah. i'm gonna show you the bobby g duncan hines man the duncan hines is something i developed man 
straighten up these necks that are like, you know what I mean? Horrible, horrible, horrible four bow necks, man. Look at that, man. I mean, that's just ridiculous four bow. You know what I'm saying? We're going to straighten this guy out, man. We're going to do a couple of different things. Get a playable. Get that action lease back on the grid. It's a classical guitar, so we can get away with a little high action. But, I mean, nothing like that, man. That's just horseshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me get me my Alhambra. I mean, it is also, I want to see, show you, been beat up. I forgot to show you about this part. I mean, somebody did some kicking, kicking and screaming on this guy. You know, there's some big cracks in the back. And these cracks, I'm not going to really even attend to that much. One, because this crack is right behind the label. And the label's like the nicest thing on the guitar. <laughs> Honestly. So let's get these strings off of it, man. Let's pull that nut off there and pull those tuners off, man. And I'm going to show you about the Duncan Hines, man. Let's take it outside. Let's get naked and take it outside. Hey. So I'm about to take this guitar strings off. And I want to show you all the effects of putting steel strings on a fine classical guitar, man. Look at this. Look at that bridge is lifted right off of that, man. Not only is the four bow, you know what I mean, the total result of, you know what I mean, of these tension of these steel strings. You know what I'm saying? on this guitar but that bridge lift too man destroyed the the bridge almost you know what I mean I'll be able to peg that down but still all the woes really and these are old ass strings these are from the 60s you can tell you know what I'm saying so these strings have been on here and they're up to the pitch you know what I mean you know what I'm saying for 50 years so that's what really destroyed this guitar so don't ever 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 Put steel strings on a fine classical guitar or even an unfine one. Look to see if it's got a strap button, man. If there's no strap button, you're probably not going to want to put steel strings on this classical guitar, man. You know what I'm saying? Peace be with you. Ripped off. You know what I mean? We got the nut off. All the strings, everything, man. So now, the neck warps over time because it's made out of wood. Warped. So we're gonna rewarp it back, man. As opposed to steaming this off and shaving this down, all kinds of other porkeries. So let's just do that, man. Got a big bucket here, full of hot water, and I'm just gonna run my, you know, hot water thing through the kitchen. Just fill this up. Dump this guy in there, the Duncan Hines, man. Till it's soppy, soapy. You know what I mean? Soaking wet, and just go bring it down to the basement. It's the next episode man so i'll see you once we're all in the tank man in the dump practically boiling water almost up to the end of the neck we're just gonna let it sit there for about a half hour man just sit outside and listen to the radio sit in the sun man and thank god i'm alive man hey thing sitting in this old water tub for a good 45 minutes checking on it every 10 15 minutes i'm gonna pull it out i'm gonna dry it off you know what i'm saying i've already felt it you know what i'm saying and it feels like real you know what i mean the wood feels you know what a wet wood feels like so let me get this guy out and dry it off put it over here man i see when we're all dried out man dry out the clinic man so we got it all pressed down, man. I got two quick grips along the straight railing here, the deck. A nice piece of, you know what I mean, sheet underneath there, pillowcase, old pillowcase. And we got, you know, a little tiny piece of like slate wrapped up in some cloth to put right under there. And we got two big cement blocks on top of the heel. And everything's done on this fulcrum of the, you know what I mean, the support beam, which goes down to cement, you know what I mean? So it's real sturdy. We're going to leave this set like this, like drying, kind of, out here. Ooh, a nice breeze. Till nightfall, and then we're going to transfer it over to, like, the cool basement and let it set for a couple days. Okay. So I've taken this tuner apart just to see, you know what I mean, what the skivvy was. I was thinking maybe replacing all these posts and stuff, but these are really, you know what I mean, fine tuners. And I had all kinds of you know classical tuner parts in here you know what i mean i was thinking of maybe swapping out you know what i mean 
one of these posts, but I think I'm just going to stick a button on this, you know what I mean? Maybe mismatched. I think I got a couple you know I mean? miscellaneous things. I think I might use like one of these guys. See this? One of these square guys. It's not perfect. You know what I mean? But for now, I got these two. You could probably get away with using one of these. I could even like sand it down, you know what I'm saying? I'll just put it on there. You know what I mean? That solves that problem. So let's get these tuners all tuned up, man. Huh. Right, folks. So we spent the last two days, you know what I mean, clamped down to the countertop in this nice, cool basement. Neck's pretty damn straight. You know what I mean? Looks good. We're going to keep clamping it at night, but we're going to get rid of some of the other cracks now. First crack I really want to attend to is this one right here on the side, man. You know, I mean, these always look like, you know what I mean, they're not going to be a big deal, but they end up splitting, you know, and ruining the whole guitar. So a little bowl of warm water, you know, a little suction cup and some tight bond. I'm going to just fill this guy in first. Then we'll just around round robin, we'll do this one. You know, there's a couple of little cracks here and there. till it's uncracked. All right, I'll show you a couple, a couple of major ones as we go. It's not really too much left, folks. Huh. Fixing that sinkhole. In the corner there. You know what I'm saying, man? Fixing it up. So now we're going to fill the cracks in the back. Got some, you know, tight bond. Little water. Just get that in that, that, that crack real good. You know what I'm saying? Looks like they've been repaired but then we wipe that off with a wet rag and like so do, do, do. set it and forget it you know what I mean one-handed cameraman peace fellas and fellettes so now we want to sort of get some glue in like the final cracks man see there's like a little bit of you know what i mean it's a little proud that vining here and there man you know what i mean this is something that we can't do this is like you know what i mean it's a maple binding this isn't plastic man this is maple you know what i mean so this is like pure wood and it's kind of like you know what I mean? it just shrunk over the years you know what i mean it's like 50 some odd years old you know what i mean and also we have this repair over here we just want to sink some glue into those guys and as it goes around you know what i mean the binding you'll see little tiny bits of of proudness here and there. there's a little bit more proudness pride man so let's you know what i mean fill in the cracks fill my cracking hey So there we have it. Just, you know, some type on, you know, loosely diluted by like a bead of water. You know what I mean? We got little, it's the suction doucher. You know what I mean? So it just douches it in there. Always want to keep this guy in the water though, man. When you're done with him, don't send him out because he's going to dry out, man. Stupid Bobby G. Anyway, man, so this is what you're going to want. You know, just let it set with that little like tiny diluted tight bond. Just old fashioned tight bond, folks. Just the regular old stuff, man. I was using the Elmer's wood glue for many years, and it was like professional strength. I can't find it anymore, man. The particular one I had, man. Anyway, back to tight bond. So, you know, we did the, the sides again just to reinforce it. Now we're going to take, we got a whole bunch of these like little cloths and like warm water. And we're going to, you know what I mean, wring out the cloth, you know what I mean? So it's just slightly damp and just. Get that glue off, man. And let it dry in there for the better part of the afternoon. And I'll come back at you with our final touches, man. We gotta reach out and touch. It's a big guy though. So I'll see you at the big at the big show, at the big meet. Got the dehumidifier pumped up real high. That's because of this last step before the big meet. Folks, I hope I don't need anything out of the workshop over the next day. Basically, there's a little bit of a hump, you know what I mean, a little bit of a lift, you know what I mean, on the top. So, we got it clamped to the counter. 
you know, behind the bridge, took some warm water in a spray bottle, sprayed it through the sound hole just to soak that, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Inside of the guitar, you know what I mean? Just sort of rewarp it down, man. So we got the dehumidifier, you know what I mean, drying it out down here a little bit, getting a real dry environment. Got some pillows and blankets and shit underneath the uh, guitar because it's kind of like, you know what I mean? I got a big bucket of old bolts. This thing weighs like 22 pounds, man. 24 pounds, something like that. So, here we go, man. You know what I mean? We're going to get that last little hump out of there, man. Get it totally straight before the big meat. This is a big important meat. You don't know what I'm talking about? You'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow, same time, same channel. The big meat. So it's the next day, I can walk freely in and out of my little workshop here, man. And, you know, I put my my Levi on there, man. And he's, you know what I mean, all level, man. The hump of, hump back of Alhambra is gone, man. We got a straight, straight laced thing, man. So, essentially, we got to talk about the big meat here now, man. I would talk about this big meat all week man so let's talk about the big meat man see this man, yeah, man. the glue on this side of the bridge going this way is like totally shot man that, that little lift is gone man it's totally flat that's cool man that's cool in the gang bro and bros and brosettes especially the brosettes right um anyhow man so the glue right here is real strong so I'm not going to, you know what I mean, mess with it. I'm going to let it be strong, man. Let it be felt, man. You know what I'm saying? Not to be deadbeat glue. I ain't going to rip rip apart a home that there's no problem with, man. We just, the family's got to solve it on their own. So I'm going to bring in the foster child and, and fix everything up here. We're going to put some glue in there, right? We're going to basically just slather this whole guy <clears throat> with a sort of, you know, 60% water. You know, so, I mean, 60% glue to 40% water. And we just slide it in there, man, all up and down, man. And clamp it real strong with this old, you know what I'm saying, medieval, you know what I mean, Spanish Inquisition clamp. Clamp. Vamos a clamparte. Hasta se mueres. Pudrido puerco. So, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm going to glue this guy up and clamp that thing down, man. Now we're in the home stretch. So I'm going to see you after we're clamped for one date. One date. Run for it, Marty. So here we go, man. It's been about 45 minutes clamped. We cleaned it up. I just finished, you know, making it not look nice for the people. So I got a little piece of wax paper, you know, and you tape the bottom like a five pound weight holding down that bottom there. You want to see a nice white beads sticking out the back there you know what i'm saying reuniting the family family's reunited there's all goodness in the world and tomorrow morning when we wake up that white beat will be gone man mary poppins would have flown away leaving the family happy and in love with life now look i also pumped a little bit of glue in these little proud areas you know what i'm saying just a little bit of extra hey who's your poppy who's your poppy so let's wait till tomorrow morning pull these clamps off these clampers and uh you know what i mean just to celebrate our success at the big meat peace meat meat peace meat peace peace meat so it's the next day you see that glue is totally dried so let's get it out of this medieval clamp unclamp unclamping moment Oh yeah, we fresh out the clamp now, son. I'm gonna get me a bottle of wild turkey and it just go crazy in the street, man. I'm gonna go buck wild. Yeah, it looks good, man. It's straight and solid. However, I want to take this opportunity right now to give it like a final last blast of gluing, man. You know what I mean? Give all the regular problem spots a final dousing of glue. Just sort of polish the whole guitar with like, you know, light viscosity of type bond, if you will, man. And just let it set for the better half of the day, you know what I mean? And we'll come back this evening and we, you know what I mean, finish our finishing journey. We're almost finished, man. 
You're almost on your way to being forgotten about like the rest. Alhambro. Hey! Man, so we got this thing glued. We got it stabilized. We got it rock hard, man. Feels like a good, solid instrument again. So let's get these frets leveled, man. If there was ever, if there was ever like a guitar that needed its frets leveled, it's this fucking guitar. So we're going to go up and down, blacken these guys up, bring a file. Then I have some important things that I want to tell you about. I think it's time that you learn some things about me and about you. So I'll be right back after we're done straightening these out, man. Peace. All right. So we're nice and level. I think it's time that you're you're a man now. There's some things that you should learn that we haven't talked about. Now a lot of times when when you do this, you get fraught, fraught, the frets that are all like flat man let me show you one Let's see here pick out one see this one that's gotten flat now generally you're gonna have to like crown these and spend all kinds of time sanding it and different kind of files don't bother you know for a couple of dollars you know I mean off eBay you get one of these bad boys man a fret file they're excellent and you can actually buy piece of plastic to go over it it's pretty much as wide as the fattest fret you know what I mean so you don't scratch up your your fretboard you know what I'm saying and then when you're done with this thing still in place you need to take some triple zero steel wool and just sort of so let's get these frets all totally u-shaped man nice and shiny u-shaped nothing square people and we'll move on to our next thing this is pretty much the last functional thing let me move on to the cosmetic stuff, man. So we'll see when we're all fretted up. We'll fret, man. Look at that, people. Nice and rounded crowns of those frets. That's what we like to see. But look how dirty, just disgusting this thing is, man. It feels like, you know what I mean? It's been sitting under a pigeon coop. It looks like it, too, actually. So we're going to clean it off, man. And the old standard, you know what I mean? Dollar Tree furniture polish. Just gotta clean the crap out of it, focals. Clean that guy up, man. Make him proud. Now that we got it all cleaned up, essentially, right? We used a little bit of rubbing compound, a little bit of polishing compound. Let's put a little bit of Mom's Cornable wax on there. Let's get this guy sheeny, sheeny and sheeny. See in the sheeniness. Demon sheeny shiny. Gleaming, gleaming shiny. Look at that, man. In the back, too. Look at that. Oh, wow. So let's get all this disgusting dirt over here. Let's go bring it into the workshop and just scrub that dripboard down with some mineral oil and steel whirl. Ha! Ah. There we go, man. We got the fretboard all greased up with that mineral earl we use a little bit of triple zero steel wool to apply it burger king great gloves to keep our hands a little bit un unwooly man woolly mammoth so we're gonna let that grease sit in there especially on these top frets man yeah it was like almost bleached white man sitting in that duncan hines water let's let this sit in i'll see you when it's all sunken in folks hey all right, so the oil sank in, wiped off the extra. We're gonna let it sit overnight because it's gonna seep out a little bit more. And then we're gonna wipe it off again, and we're gonna hit it up with some butcher's wax. In the meantime, you know, I took these um, the nut in the saddle, and I sort of, you know, I mean, gave him a little bit of I mean, like 50 50 bleaching water, you know what I'm saying. It looks so nice now. It looks like new. So I'm going to glue this guy back in. And I'm going to put this guy. Yeah, I'm going to actually cut this guy down a little tiny bit. I'm going to you know, run him on some sandpaper to just take off about, you know, maybe a millimeter or so. A millimeter and a half, maybe. You know what I mean? We already have nice action. But I'm just going to beat a dead horse. We're going to put these guys on. I'll just put this dummy on here for now. I guarantee you, you know, the next, you know, 10, 15 years, mess around with guitars probably find this you know what I mean either that button 
or you know what I mean, a whole tuning, you know what I mean, key that I can just put on there without even anybody knowing. You know what I'm saying? And this guy will just hold this place. And I'm not gonna, you know what I mean, move mounts for nonsense, you know. All right, folks. So let's get this, you know what I mean, totally tuned up, man. I'm gonna come back to you on doing the glamour shots, brothers and sisters. <laughs> So real quick, moment of truth on the action here. Let's see here. Where we at, folks? Let me move this foot down. Oh yeah, we're right back in the right back in the highlight of the game, around point nine eight, right there. Right we're at about like five, six, sixty fourths. Nice, old Bobby G. And there it is, people. Look at that. Gorgeous instrument, man. Look at that. It's essentially a, a flea market freebie. You know what I'm saying, man? The Muro de Alcoy. That's the name of the town, man. There's no model number on it, man. It's just an Alhambra guitar. You know what I'm saying? Around about 1965. One of the first ones. Pretty rare instrument, you know what I'm saying? looks good now can't get over how that duncan hines action trick works so well on this on this guitar look at that action there's this know-it-all jackhammer that goes around the flea market you know in the morning and he saw me you know, he always uh, i picked up a 52 re re reverb deluxe amplifier for fourteen hundred dollars yesterday man like that's good man you know what i mean Hey, would, would you pick up that piece of crap with the bad action on it, man? Why would you do that? What do you collect crap? You roll around in your own crap like a pig or something, man? What a fucking loser. You know what I'm saying, man? I bet you right now he's like, you know what I'm saying? Having sexual intercourse with his 1952 Del Delexo Fellow Rebug, man. That cocksucker. You know what I mean? Make fun of me. Getting a guitar with high action. He don't know about the Duncan Hines, man. You know what I'm saying? He don't know. He don't understand it. So here we are, man. We got gorgeous wood, man. And look at the uh, the binding, that wooden binding on there, man. And it's all fixed up, and the glue's all dried up, and the sheeny shattered looking. You know what I'm saying? Fine instrument now. You know what I'm saying, man? A fine Spanish guitar. Fine, fine thing. And we got that, you know what I mean? It's a place where I already found like two other guitars in my collection that, you know what I mean? I could probably swap it out of. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm gonna wait, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait a little while. So let's hear this little, this little girl, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's give it a tickling. Hey. Here we are, folks. So, any guitar that you've done neck work to, you don't want to do the capo test. The capo on, fifth fret or higher, right? And uh, see if it sounds like that. Because if it does, then you've accomplished your task. But if it sounds like, then you should really have gone to medical school like your mom wanted to because you failed it. Also, this is like cool for those baritone men to exercise their guilty pleasure and try to, you know, hit some of them higher pitched, you know, songs. Do it, man. You know, you want to sing that Mariah Carey Christmas song or Borderline by Madonna or something like that, man. Find the chords and put it on this one. And all of a sudden, play, you're like, wow, man, my baritone hasn't ever been so strong. I know it's not my fault. I did my best. God knows this heart of mine. No good one more and more I find the dreams I left behind are somehow too real to replace. Oh, last night I didn't get to sleep at all. That sleep no pet I took was just a waste of time. I couldn't close my eyes. Beautiful. Here it is, man. Alhambra. Wow. 
Wash your hands still, folks. We're almost there, people. God bless you. Peace be with you. The humble back from the dead.